This weekend, we saw John Rio Casemiro have an early knockout of the American Saul Sanchez. So I guess we could finally get the fight that we wanted of John Rio Casemiro versus Nadia anyway, right? Ha! Got he! Ha! Got he! <laughs> really? If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm supposed to. If I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, Boxing Talk family? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG, and praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out. John Rio Casimero, the Filipino fighter, you know, he was fighting Saul Sanchez, the American, over the weekend on the 13th of October, you know, the same day that Takuma anyway got beat up by Tsutsumi, you know, and had his, it had his title taken at ben, at the Bantamweight division. We had a nice little shakeup there. Well, John Rio Casimero gave a little shakeup too, but this time it was on the weight scale. You know, he came in a pound and a quarter over the 122 pound weight limit. So he came in at 123. 0.25 pounds you know and you know it might not seem like that much but when you're at the smaller weight divisions you know the disparity between the the weight classes are very small so even being one pound over well the next division is only four pounds up at 126 only a four pounds difference and then 118 that's below is also also only a four pound difference so a pound over could be quite significant you know what i'm saying in japan they do not play about sticking to the rules you know they don't want you to violate the integrity of the sport they don't want you to compromise the sanctity of the sport and they want you to be professional and missing weight i'm sorry it's just not professional man it demonstrates a lack of discipline yeah demonstrates a lack of professionalism yeah and you know you have to uphold you're you're part of the bargain and japan takes it very seriously man so you know before y'all jump off the deep end and say oh they're just trying to protect naga anyway from john rio casimero shut up bitch well, none of this would have transpired if John Rio Casimiro would have made weight in the first place. So he could only blame himself because making weight is directly up to the fighter. You know, something that you can also change at a whim. All you have to do is do more road work, yeah. hit the sauna, yeah. or just move your fat ass up. That's all you got to do to go to another weight division if, if, if necessary. I wanted to see Naya Inouye versus John Rio Casimiro, but I don't think this is an attempt to protect Naya Inouye by any means. Because if you're familiar with boxing, then you know that... Japan is notorious for reprimanding fighters for breaking the rules, you know, not adhering to the rules. Ask Louis Neary, right? He was banned for missing weight also. God damn it, that's a big fat ass! <laughs> well, you might say, oh, well, he just fought Naya anyway, right? Well, yeah, that's because they relieved his indefinite ban just so Naya anyway could put the beats on him. Get him up, let him get up, let him get up, let him get up. Like that, like that. You know what I'm saying? And he had PEDs in his past. So I want to just make this very clear, you know. Can you imagine what would happen if, let's say, Janabek, who missed weight against Mikhailovich and, and subsequently had to have his fight postponed to a later date? Oh, yeah, he would have been banned. Oh, what about uh, Jamal Charlo when he fought Jose Benavidez Jr.? He came in six pounds over the weight limit. Yeah, he would have been banned too. Damn! I'm sorry. Can you imagine Ryan Garcia who missed weight and came in with PEDs? Oh, we would have never see him again in a, <laughs> in a boxing ring. So I know it may seem a little harsh on the surface, but I really like this man because I think this preserves the sanctity of the sport. It also prioritizes the welfare of the other fighters and it doesn't have anybody being, you know, um, irregularly compromised not even irregular you shouldn't be compromised at all you know going into a fight so i like i like this and i wish the world would adapt this other as far as other countries and their boxing rules i wish they would also adapt these harsher punishments as well you know so like i said before you go go around thinking irrationally just think that this is not the first time that this has happened you know especially in japan so japan is notorious for being a stickler to the rules and sticking it to you when you don't abide by the rules so big salute to japan I, I like I like this man. Protect the fighters, protect the sanctity of the sport, and let's keep it going. And, and let's and let's also, you know, encourage fighters to to, to keep up their discipline and uphold the rules and, and, and demonstrate professionalism. Man, so I like this. Next time we've seen John Rio Casimero, it'll be a year from now. Well, let me be very clear too. That's just in Japan. He can still fight in the Philippines, where he's from. He could fight in America. He could fight in Australia. He could fight in Nigeria. He could fight in England, and so on and so forth. He just can no, no longer compete in Japan. And you know, now you're in the way. He's notorious for 
primarily competing in Japan, so most likely we won't get this fight <laughs> anytime soon, at least not within a year, you know what I'm talking about? So let me know what y'all think about that in the comments. Do you think that this punishment is too harsh? Do you think that it should be a little more lax? Or do you not really care, you know? Let me know in the comments, man. But remember, 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 that with God, we can do anything without God wearing nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.